Hello everyone, I'm going to show you how you can play this game, uh, The Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. This is on PC. Uh, the game still works on Windows 10 and I'm going to show you how to get it to work and also how you can optionally get it to work in uh, uh, HD resolution. So this is the game I'll start it up. I'm going to close it now so I can show you what's up. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to have a copy of the game. Uh, I can't help you with that. You just need to have a copy of the game. Maybe you can Google just to buy it somewhere. Um, I have seen some available. Make sure you look for the one for PC. Once you've installed it to, on, your, on your preferred location, uh, for me it's uh, here in this, uh, in this folder. The folder looks like this. You've installed the game. Uh, if you try to play it now, it will not work. So you need to do a couple of things. First of all, you need uh, the 3D Analyze program. It's here, you can Google for it. 3D Analyze, uh, and on the bottom of the page, you can download the program. After you've downloaded it, you install it, and you will can start it up. You get the following window. Uh, this is already configured, but this is the program. You will see, you click then click Select. Here you select the executable and that's in the folder that we just saw. You know where it is after you installed it. So it's the fellowship.execute. Uh, it loads in the program. Then you need to tick a few boxes and put in some numbers. You make sure that this, these two boxes are ticked. Emulate uh, HWTNL caps and emulate other DX 8.1 caps. Then here, Lord of the Rings. Texture fix needs to be ticked. That's the boxes that need to be ticked. All other boxes can you can leave blank. And then here I put this on one, vendor ID and device ID on one. For me it's optional, but the guide I saw recommends that. So then the settings are right and you can click run and the game will start. You will just get into the game and you can play it as well. So this is the required configuration. You can also here click save patch file, then it will create a file that you can just double click every time and it will start 3D analyze and start the game uh, all at once. So that's the required things done. Then there's one fix I really recommend and that's to uh, lock the game uh, at 60 FPS. Because if you uh, have unlimited FPS the game will run a bit quicker in some places uh, and your character also starts running faster and the menu uh, does not work very well. Your mouse is flickering a bit. So to make sure you can lock it on 60 FPS, I recommend using MSI Afterburner. You can download it and it comes with uh, a Riva Tuner statistics server. You can just start that on its own. You don't need to start uh, MSI uh, Afterburner. Uh, this is the window that you get. This is the Riva Tuner statistics server. And here you can set a frame rate limit. And if you put it at 60, and just, uh, well, you can close the program and it will uh, minimize to the taskbar or to the quick start bar. Uh, and it will uh, uh, limit any programs at 60 FPS that you run. So also in this case, uh, the Lord of the Rings game. This will make sure that frame rate is stable. Your character doesn't speed up in certain sections. The menu works, works completely fine. So that's the second thing. I really recommend doing this. Uh, then there's uh, one optional uh, thing I want to show you. You can uh, run the game in uh, 1080p. And that's possible using uh, Cheat Engine. Normally the game runs in uh, some other resolutions, but no widescreen resolutions. So you can download Cheat Engine from, from cheatengine.org. Uh, download it, install it, and start it up. Well, at first it doesn't look like this, but uh, this is empty. This will be empty. And this is a bit more tricky to do. Uh, you need to start up the game first. So I'm going to show that whole process to you now. So in 3D Analyzer, uh, you uh, click Run. The game will start. You can see now here the game. You click Options, click Graphic Settings. Here you see all resolutions that are available to you uh, by default. Uh, it may differ for you. 
uh, may be different for you. I'm going to select uh, this resolution now. So this one is uh, free, so to speak. It's the 1600-1200. You want to look here for a resolution that has unique numbers. So 1600 is not uh, part of one of the other resolutions and 1200 is also part of the other resolutions. This makes it easier to do, uh, to do this fix. So I select another resolution now and click accept. The game now runs in that resolution. I go back to the menu and then you alt I'll tap out of the game. So now we're back at my desktop. Then you uh, load Cheese Engine. You click here in the top left. A window pops up. Here is Fellowship of the Ring. You double click it. Keep the current address list no. Now the game is loaded in this program. Then you need to search for the values 1600 and 1200. So we start with 1600, we click first scan, and it shows memory addresses here. Now you need to select a number of these addresses and change the value of 1600 to your preferred resolution, which is in this case uh, 1920. And you select all the addresses that are in the range from the all the way to the lowest towards when it starts going to zero and then a letter. So zero A, well in this case zero D. So I click the one above, I go up, I hold shift, I click, they are all selected. I click this arrow and I go to the bottom. Then I search for all 1200 values. So I put 1200, I click new scan, first scan. It shows me all the 1200 values. And here it's the same. At some point it goes to 0D, everything above we want to select. So this one, I don't want to have the green one, so I just select these, click the arrow, then get these ones above, click the arrow. Then they're all in the bottom, the values we want to change. Click the 1600 value, we scroll down, all the way to when we see it change to 1200. I hold shift and click. They're all selected. I'll double click on the 1600 value. I'm telling it to do 1920. I click OK. They are all changed to 1920. I click the 1200 value, scroll down, 1200, double click. This needs to be 1080. And it's all changed. You see it changing here as well now. That's all you need to do with Cheat Engine. Now I um, go back to the game. The game loads up. There it is. I go to Options, Graphics Settings. And now here it shows 1920, 1080. I click it, I click Accept. And the resolution has been changed. So uh, th this menu picture is stretched to widescreen, but you will see that uh, the game renders a native uh, 1080p in-game. So I click new game. The videos are stretched as well, they are pre-rendered. I'll just skip Welcome them from now. But we'll this is rendered live, and this is in native 1080p. We must talk about a shadow of the past. But Gandalf did not come back. And the game runs stable. It's at stable 60 FPS. So it works completely fine like this. The only thing with the widescreen resolution is that. Uh, uh, your character is a bit less in the middle of the screen compared to non widescreen resolutions. I can show you this. I'll go back to, let's say, 1280-960. In, uh, in the video, this is smaller, but you can also stretch it all the way across your screen. And you see that below his feet, there is much more space. Uh, so you have a bit more, your character is more in the center of the screen. In some parts of the game it can maybe be a bit easier, but I really prefer having a native widescreen resolution. So let's go back.
Okay. So that's it. So uh, have fun.